What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass, Bass Tone, tone Tuesday. Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to capture a pedal with the Neural DSP Quad Cortex. This is something that has been requested over at TalkBass.com, so I figured I would show you how to do it. The unit itself has a guide and it shows you the steps that you have to do to capture your gear, but sometimes you have to think about, you know, how am, how am I using my cables to do all the things? So I'm just going to show you how to do it. And the cool thing about the Quad Cortex is that you can capture pedals, you can capture your amp using the DI out, you can also capture your amp and your cabinet if you put a mic in front of it, which allows you to take your tone everywhere you go. So let's take a look at the process and then we're going to discuss things a little bit. We're going to capture the sound of the Noble DI and take it into the Quad Cortex. So I'm going to boost some treble and some bass. It is a boost only EQ. And instead of me playing to dial in the sounds and compare volume and output levels, I'm going to use a looper just to have a more consistent signal when doing this capture process. You would do all the steps the same way, but with your instrument, it's so only that I am using this pedal to send the signal to the unit. Now, to capture a pedal or an amp or an amp in a cabinet, which is also possible, you have to click or tap into these three dots at the top, and then you scroll down a bit, and you see new neural capture. You tap that. And this is the menu that shows you actually step by step what you have to connect and in which outputs and which inputs. It is guiding you through a process, but sometimes you have to get your hair around a couple of things, which is why I'm doing this video. Now you can see in green, it says return one, and this is where your instrument goes in. Like I said, in this case, I'm not using my instrument, I'm using the looper. So I'm going to plug the looper the output of it into return one. So let me do that. Once you have that plugged in, you can tap next. And now you have to connect your headphones or use an XLR, which we're gonna use here to monitor. Both work either way, but I am plugging in this cable to my interface and to my monitor so I can hear what I'm playing. Otherwise, you can just use the headphone out for this, but I'm just going to plug the XLR cable. Once that is done, you tap on next. And this is important. This is how the unit actually captures the sound. And as you can see, it says capture out to the input of the target device. So we're using the capture output to go into the unit, in this case the noble, acting as if it was my instrument. So I'm taking the signal from the quad cortex and going into the noble. So I'm going to connect a cable for that. Here is the capture out and I'm going with the other end into the noble. Once that is done, you can just tap next. And the final step is to take the signal from the device, in this case, the noble, into the quad cortex using the input one. And here you can connect either a quarter inch cable, or you can also connect an XLR because it's a combo jack. So you can connect the cable of a microphone as well if you're capturing an amp and a cabinet, for example. In this case, just to, take, to make things simple, and I already have a cable hooked up here, I'm just going to use a regular instrument cable using the uh, quarter inch out of the noble. So I'm going to connect this. Now, for example, if you wanted to capture your amp with your cabinet, you would take the capture out and go into the input of your amp. As if you were going with your bass directly to the amp, but you would use the capture out for that. Now this amp, for example, has an XLR out, so I can take that XLR cable and then go back to the quad cortex. But if you're using, or if you want to capture the cabinet as well, you need to use a microphone, of course, to capture the sound of the cabinet. And in that case, you take 
the XLR cable from the microphone and with that cable you would then go to the quad cortex. Once that is plugged in, you just tap next. And this is the final review window. And here you can see all the connections. You see that the instrument has to go into return one. The capture out has to go into the device that you want to capture. And then the first input, that's where you plug in the device that you're capturing. So you can review all the settings and the signal paths here. Once you are sure you have everything correctly, you just tap confirm. And here is where you set the levels of the units. So you have the option to use an auto set, which moves the input level and tries to match that to the instrument level, or you can adjust it manually. And one thing that I've noticed is that in order to capture things more effectively, it's better to capture them as hot as possible to get the closest sound as the original source. So you might need to experiment either with the auto set or by dialing in things yourself. Also important uh, to pay attention to is the type of signal that you're using, if it's a mic or instrument signal. In this case, because we're using the quarter inch cable, it is an instrument signal. Those are the things that you have to pay attention to. I'm just gonna show you how the auto set works. Just turning on the noble and I'm gonna run the loop. I'm gonna press auto set and you can see the signals getting adjusted and you can see how the in level moves around depending on the signal. So I have to set it quieter than the instrument level to match it sound wise. Otherwise, like I said, you can just untap auto set and dial it yourself to find the right level. Once everything is done and you're sure that you're happy with the inputs and output levels, you can just tap start capture and you're gonna hear a bunch of weird noises that are extremely loud. So I recommend you to turn down the volume of your speakers or if you're doing an amplifier with a cabinet, uh, you're probably gonna disturb your neighbors. <laughs> so just something to keep in mind. And the whole capture process takes about, at the most, maybe five minutes, more or less. It's not that long, but you do have to wait a little bit. So let's check that out. <laughs> Now it is done and by pressing here you can switch between the quad cortex and then the real device. So let's check that out. I'm gonna start with the real device. As you could hear, the capture and the real thing sound pretty much identical. There is a slight difference, but it's very, very minimal and telling them apart in a mix with a bunch of other instruments would be fairly tough. Also when switching them and playing, the feel is pretty much the same. It's hard to tell which one is which. And that's really cool because you get to take the sound of all your pedals, or pretty much all of them, and the amps and cabinets that you have to your gigs in a very friendly format. Capturing pedals, you know, drive pedals or EQ pedals or preamps, it's fairly simple. You don't have to worry about many things. Just plug in, put in the sound, and you're good to go. If you're capturing amps with a cabinet, that means you have to use a microphone and you gotta know a bit about mic placement and also the type of mic that you're going to use and also EQ the amp. And the room also plays a role in that scenario. So you might need to experiment a bit more in that scenario. But in and of itself, the process of capturing is fairly simple and the unit 
guides you throughout the process. And as you could hear, you do get really, really cool results, which means that you can take your gear that you can leave at home and still take it on the road and really get a great sound. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm-hmm.